All right, boys. This is attempt number six or seven. I'm trying to get one game that is not trolled in preseason for the How to Dominate series. Anyways, welcome. This will be episode 43 of How to Dominate. I'm attempting to get a game that will not be trolled in preseason. Try my best here. This is going to be Kindred with Press the Tech, Triumph, Legend of Lacrity, Coup de Gras, Sudden Impact, and Ravenous Hunter, which will be my runes for my rune stats. I'm taking 9% attack speed, 6 AD, and 5 armor. So the difference here, these people are doing, they just like talk all games. So I'm just going to mute them for the safety of your own eyes. But um, yeah, so the difference that I have here compared to what I was doing before is um, taking the Sudden Impact and Ravenous Hunter is better than Celerity Water Walking. Let's hope that we don't die level one. It'd be really unfortunate. I think he's just dead no matter what here. Yeah, he's he's definitely dead. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Give it to the Rengar. Yes. That is what I wanted to see. Okay, anyways. I'm going to be doing Kindred into Rengar. He just got first blood, so that's not good for me. Um, anytime you play into an assassin, you don't want to have them get ahead early as Kindred, but we're going to make do with what we got. I'm going to go straight to his blue because he showed bot side. So I guess we'll try to figure out a way to... Um, play into a assassin that has first blood with a ranged jungler dude this will be fun uh my uh malzahar was afk but he's back now good to know no one warded so i have no idea where they are malzahar has reconnected uh he's seeping to mid 220 night not bad not bad he's gonna be a little bit behind So one thing I like to do here is I take three, like I want to contest my bot side because I wasn't able to take too much of his. So what I like to do here is I um, take three and then that gives me uh, level three and I can walk into the Rengar if he's here. Okay, he just took my blue. He didn't take anything else. Interesting. Most of the time, people will go for every... Oh, he's behind the turret. Oh, he actually killed himself. That's pretty good. Go straight there. Showed on that. We does not want to kill him here, I don't think. That's all I can do. Maybe you can uh, EQ. Okay, we should shove this in all the way. Good enough. At least we got down there. Um, Mid might be hard to s fight against. We'll see. Lulu should come with me right here. So what should happen is Lulu... Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to counter jungle, but my mid got solo killed. So... Realistically, I should just leave, huh? Yeah, we're just gonna leave. It's gone anyway. He's gonna try to desperately shove. I'm gonna try to just keep it like, so he can't shove essentially. So he's not gonna get into turret. Can't kill him. I'm gonna clear this in my golems, and then I'll back. All right, we're in trouble. Top got solo killed as well, which sucks with Ignite. Hey, on the bright side, this will be the best teaching experience if we're actually able to win a game like this. A little bit of lag there, doesn't really matter. Top is no flash. Rengar's here. I can't walk into the Rengar in bushes right now because he's up a shop on me. Like I haven't shopped yet. Recalling. 
and going to bot crab. Yeah, I cannot walk directly into a Rengar in bushes, especially with my top having disadvantage. So, so if your lane has been solo killed, he's going here. He's going to get this. They have priority mid as well and bot. So this is his crab. Even if I was here, I wouldn't be able to contest it. But um, yeah, what was I going to say? So when you are in a situation where your lane doesn't have priority and you're playing jungle, you have to respect that to some degree. And you can't just go super ham and kill yourself. I mean, you can, but that's, like, just going to be the result. You're just going to end up putting yourself even more behind. I have to be really, like, smart about the plays I go for. I'm doing fine in experience. I'm actually, like, slightly ahead of the other jungler. If I walk into him, I can win. But, um, yeah, I, I can't actually, like, try to force too hard around lanes or even fights. I will lose. That wasn't even fight because I was there like so much earlier. It's two kills. It's really good. Exactly what we needed. They were low and I was able to just force it because we knew that Rengar was not in the bush. Or we assumed that Rengar was not in the bush because of our wards. I'm gonna go ahead and ult him. If I didn't ult there, then Pike could have potentially ulted and got a reset on him. So just did that to save my Lulu. Yeah. Wasting time, this is really good for us. Okay, so we're kind of like even in this game now. Going to go for warrior. So when you're reverse, this is actually good because the last time I did how to dominate, I I was against a squishy team comp, or, or sorry, I was versus a tanky team comp where you go blood razor. Now I'm versus squishy team comp, which means that warrior is the superior buy. So you can see like both sides of like when you get each item and how they look, how they feel, etc. This is gonna be his next move. He's gonna recall, do red and uh, rates, and then he's gonna go top side. I don't have ult though, which. Makes it so he can actually win the 1v1 versus me. It's okay though, I think we can make do with that. Okay, Pike is right here. I really can't contest that crab. Their mid has way too much prio. Realistically, what I should do is I should just go down and try to force Dragon. With the Pike having all this pressure. We saw him up here too. Let's just not fight. So I need to go to Dragon here because they're all going to be around top side. They're taking that crab from me and um, he's taking his blue because his red was already down at this point. So this is like how I exploit this jungler. Good enough, and then I just clear my bot side here. The biggest mistake I could have done is like trying to force that same play, like try to go top with him. Just not gonna work. This is the superior play. And we get an infernal for our team. No ult for a little bit, which means it's pretty good to farm when my ult's down anyway. Top is dead. They just turned off him. Traded one for one though, and um. Yeah, we got Infernal, so not a big deal. Obviously, it sucks a Ringer got a kill, but what can, what can you say about that? So I'm going to try to see if I can force on him, because I win 1v1 versus him right now, because I have Red Smite and, and uh, components for Warrior. Okay, they see me here. There's a ward in my jungle somewhere. So I'll do this and then back. He got a couple plates, so he essentially got two kills worth of gold off that. Still stand by the play I did. Definitely the right play in that situation. What I can actually do here is probably sit top with him for a second and see if the Fiora tries to in. Nice. 
So I didn't mark him there because it would kind of give away my gank. Bot needs to be careful. So the worst thing that can happen right now is if we start a fight bot. Oh my god, that did over half my health. <laughs> what the hell? I guess I should have ulted earlier. I assume that Rengar would be bot side here. It sucks, we had zero wards covering this path. Even if I got my ult off, I think we lose. Damn, I'm actually surprised that the pike ult did that much. But uh, yeah, we could have backed off top. It just looked like since we were making a play bottom, they would most likely be bottom as well. What we need is Top's gonna be dead here. Ooh, Bot got 2v1 by Zyra. Sucks. Yeah, they've had mid prior all game, obviously, because my Malzahar didn't uh, join the game until like 2 minutes and 30 seconds in or something around there. Okay, so let's keep on walking in here. I'm gonna go for these Wraith Camp. This Wraith Camp is 100% up, so it is time to go for it. That's all three. Oh shit. Oh, we did our best there. Tried to make it worthwhile. Had to kill Varus before ulting myself. It's really good though. That is the comeback play we needed. So I shouldn't full clear here. I should just make sure that I um I'm at Dragon. I can do two more camps and then I have to back. It's even greedy to do raids here. Like, theoretically, I should not even do raids. I should just be going for um, red and then backing and then coming to dragon. But I'm greedy out the raids camp because I'm getting a lead. See, this is like just solo queue greed. I'm just going to be there um, for the drag, but I'm not going to be there early to set up. So I'll be there when the drag spawns, essentially, with this strategy. Uh, they, they backed super late. This is a really late back. He's got a bunch of kills, though, the Ezreal, which is nice. 40 tickets on blue. I don't think I'm going to be able to stall out for my ulti. We just need to pink ward around here. We got two kills there. I think that's worth. Should be okay. Sweet. Do drag. Good. I saw this an opportunity to flank onto the Zyra um, and the Varus, so I just went for it. It's kind of risky, but ended up working out. That's two Infernals for us. And now we're in a spot where we can really start snowballing through the game. My ult is pretty long cooldown. It's like two and a half minutes at level one. So that's why I didn't have it up there, but it's okay. Should have marked somebody else. I'm gonna mark the Zyra. I think she's the most likely to die. Actually, I could have marked the Varus here. Uh. 
my Sonata there, actually. But it's okay. So that's my fourth mark. My fourth mark is super important as, ki as Kindred. Everyone always talks about it, but it gives me 75 range. Plus, it upgrades all my skills. Like, every mark, your skills all get better. Like, um, your your Q gives you more attack speed. Your W does more damage. Your E does more damage, etc. But the real thing that helps here a lot is that we have... Um, We have 75 additional range on my auto attack. And my, all my abilities gain range as well. So, it's really good. Let's get this, this. Top dies again. Their top is actually feeding pretty hard. I think it was really important to get that, like, gang through lane on the reset. Didn't seem like people were there. I really want to contest this card. Like, I'm strong enough. I can't beat Pike and Rengar. But Pike is dead. I can beat Rengar 1v1 hard. I'm going to go for this. Sweep. I guess I had an idea I was doing it. Wow, now my team is just starting to win like all the fights. So we were behind a lot early, but um Yeah. <laughs> I guess my team just started winning lanes after a couple kills. Just gonna go for this. I would have appreciated a shield there from the Lulu, but we'll take it anyway. There's no real way for them to kill me. So I need to just uh, make sure that I'm getting um, control in their jungle right now. I'm going to try to drop my pink ward deep. Kill this crab first, though, I guess. Going top. Damn, looks like they're starting to be a little tilted. I'm so sick of this fucking company. The trash! They're, they're so under leveled now. Like, they had a, a combo where they needed to snowball. And they haven't done this. We can just probably siege on them. They have to engage. If they don't win their engage. Gonna have to ult this for my teammate. Okay. Go. Wow, that almost is really bad. Uh, Rise? I think he lost his mind, but that's okay. Ended up being three for two. I think I had it to ult for the Ezreal there. Ooh. Ah, he lived. That was interesting, Keys. Happens. Well, that wasn't like the best fight for us, but it'll still work out. I'm gonna be going for uh, Rapid Fire here. Pretty good item in general for Kindred. Just in extend your range even more. And then once you have Warrior and um, Cleaver, you really need an attack speed item. Let me mark Rengar again. Haven't really been that good with the marks so far. Don't ult. Do not ult. Do not ult. He has his W. Don't ult. Don't ult. Don't ult. Yeah, you can ult. Catch up to him, but you probably won't be able to. Interesting. Guy just ran it down. 
I'm gonna go for the Fiora kill here. He's gonna be alone. Oh, this guy is trolling. <laughs> I don't think he could be me at all there. So Dragon is gonna be the next mark, I believe. My ult is so much damage now. All right, well, we ended up winning that game. That started pretty much as bad as humanly possible. We like Rengar started with first blood. Um, yeah, I think I think top died. I think bot died. Like it was just it was just going terrible. Our Malzar was AFK, but just got through it um, with good ganks and just like playing the map correctly. I think a lot of uh, solo queue is just patience. So yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be using that. That's like the best quality preseason game you're going to get for YouTube. So hopefully there was something to learn there. Like the early pathing, I think, was pretty good. Let's go advanced details. Damage was not super high. Uh, they, they FF'd pretty early. I think that this is the point where I really would have been able to start like popping off. But yeah, that's going to be the game, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> that's the best it gets, man.